Divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. So, would your child come before your relationship with God or Mary? Um, so the example that's in the question is, if your child was hungry or screaming yep. uh, for something, but you were already occupied with doing something with Mary or praying to God, yep. what would you do? Well, I, I, love would dictate what to do, and that would be to instantly drop what's going on and work out why my crowd is crying. And it's probably something that I'm feeling. <laughs> it's probably something to do with something that I'm doing that's out of harmony with love, right? Now, now I would all automatically do that. Now, of course, it depends upon whether the child's crying is sincere or not. Now, if the child was just crying in order to manipulate me, then it would be completely out of harmony to respond to the child yep. under those circumstances. Completely out of harmony with love. So it completely depends upon the circumstances in which the child is crying or the child is being demanding as to how I would respond. If the child already has all of its needs met and also has my love, it's highly likely the child wouldn't be crying at all. Yep. <laughs> so, yep. so it's almost like, again, a... Uh, like a theoretical uh, yeah. uh, question which wouldn't in practice be happening if I was sincere in my own understanding of what it means to be the child's earth-based parent. If, if the child is crying, I know as a parent that there is something wrong emotionally for me here. Because, it, because if, even if the child is crying for food, right, then there is something wrong for me. Because why would I not have enough food to give the child or why would I not have already given the child food? There's got to be something wrong inside of my belief system for that to have been created, right? It might even be just a simple thing of me having a feeling of lack that's created lack for my family that I haven't decided to address. It might be all sorts of issues that come up as a result. So what I would do if I was sincere as a parent is I would look at every time my child is crying and I, I would definitely address the issue. But if my child is just screaming and yelling and having a tantrum because it just didn't get something it wanted, right? now I would never respond to such a child. I'd never respond to my soulmate if she was doing the same thing. Yeah. So, so you see, it would be love that dictates what happens in the situation, not the importance of the relationship. Yeah. Right? And this is where I feel a lot of people are getting... Uh, their wires crossed when it comes to understanding these principles. Because they don't yet have an understanding of the truth in their soul, they believe that love can be mutually exclusive. And it can't be. Mm. Yep. Right? If the understanding of love was in their soul, they would not even ask such a question because they'd know exactly what the answer yep. was. The fact that they've asked such a question means that they do not understand love or its nature. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and this is where I feel we need to be really honest with ourselves. If, we're, if we've asked this question of ourselves, then it means that we don't understand love at all yet because love would never allow someone to suffer when it was in our power to repair the suffering. However, love would never respond to a demand yeah. under any circumstances, even if that demand was from the most important person in our life aside from God. Now, God never demands anything. <laughs> but, but if someone like our partner demanded something from us and it was a demand and it was an expectation on their part, it would be unloving to give it, even if they go into a tantrum and even if they threaten to leave us and even if they tell us that be we're being unloving to them. And we would understand that if the understanding principles of love were in our heart. So... The fact that we ask the question means that the principles aren't in our heart. And so my yeah, first suggestion yeah. to the person asking such a question would be, you've got a lot of development to make with regard to what you believe love to be. Yeah. Fix what you believe love to be, and then you would never answer such a, you'd never ask such a question.